Mike Deutsch. I'm here in downtown Morganton and I'm gonna open up something called the Collectible Card Club. It's another box company and what they do is for card collectors out there or parents who want to get their kids into cards, it's a great way to stem off Pokemon card addiction. Yeah, it's been, still around, believe it or not. So if you don't want your kids to get addicted to Pokemon cards, why don't you get them back into sports cards, which is slightly a less addictive hobby. Anyway, and you'll be able to teach, uh, regale them with stories of your heroes of, you know, when you collected as a child. So let's open this up. Got a knife? Do not cut this way. This is not a good method. I told them that I have interest in basketball. So you could get basketball, you get football, and you can get baseball. Um, they have a bunch of different selections and you can either get as little as five packs and up and the prices vary depending on how many packs you want to get. So what I got here is I got a mix of vintage and modern cards. And we got Kyrie Irving on the cover here. Pretty cool. Um, Panini, Panini makes stickers. I don't know if they make regular cards. Let's, let's do it, let's open it up. I'm not fully familiar, this is a 2017-2018 Panini set. Let's see what we get, see what we pull. Are you ready? The excitement. Six cards in these packs. We're gonna open three packs today and maybe some more tomorrow. So what do we start out with? New York Knicks, Willie Hernan Gomez. Next up we have Al Horford, Boston Celtics. Let's show you the back of the cards, show you how they look. Gives you a lot of interesting info. Oh, what do you know? We got Blake Griffin. Los Angeles Clippers. Look at Blake go. Next. Ah, what do we got? We got Jordan Bell, Golden State Warriors. This card has a little bit of a definition to it. His hair kind of pops up. Very cool. Last but not least, did we show you the Paul George we pulled to? Oklahoma City, OKC, Paul George. Any jazz fans out there? Donovan Mitchell? Not a bad pack at all, not a bad pack. Okay, let's go to the vintage. 1991, okay, we got a pack of 1991 Fleer. Michael Jordan still played the game then. I actually happen to have this set. This is back when I was collecting, so I may be familiar with a bunch of these guys. It's a large pack. 1991 All-Star Game, pretty vintage. Danny Manning. Reggie Lewis. Rolando Blackman. Oh, we got a Jordan, lead leader card, not the regular issue, but Michael Jordan. League leaders. Let's see what else we got? We got Thurl Bailey. Remember Thurl? Ramil Robinson, Atlanta Hawks. That expression on his face. It's like, you don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Brad Doherty. Cavs, back when they had that, those uniforms. Remember those uniforms? Kenny Smith. Slam Dunk. Benoit Benjamin, Seattle Supersonics. Look at that form with his hand. He's, he's, he's taking a serious shot there. Taking a serious, looks like a foul shot. He's gotta be from the line with that much time on his face. Super calm. Terry Porter, he was a great player. Let's look at, we didn't take a look at the back, so we're gonna look at Terry Porter stats. And Terry Porter, he averaged 17.7. This was like probably one of his best seasons, 17.6 year before, 17.7. Terry Porter is one of the Trailblazers better players. University of Wisconsin, Terry Porter. Got a Chicago Bull, B.J. Armstrong. I remember B.J. And we got a Sean Kemp slam dunk card. So that was number two. And we're going to open up one more pack today. And what's it going to be? I'm going to do a little tease. What year is this? I can't tell, actually, from the cover. We're going to do this Topps basketball pack, and I guess we'll see when we open it. 13 cards, one stick of bubble gum. I know they phased out the bubble gum, so I'm thinking this is a little bit older. And it is. This is like 1980. We may have not, we may have, we, this is probably the, uh, look at that gum from 1980. 
Now, if you're wondering, does 1980 gum, can you still, look what it does to that, the back of that card that was touching. Look at that. But this gum, this wad of rectangular gum is over 30 years old. Uh, 30? No, it's tw is it 28 years old or 30 years old? 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010. Yeah, it's 30 years old. Over 30 years old. I don't know, should I lick it? You should, you should bite it. See what it tastes like. 30 year old gum. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's just it's like it's like dead chalk. Or like a desiccated uh, cockroach. But don't do that at home. This is amazing that you can still get a 1980 pack. It's not in mint because I mean it's been sitting there for long. There's been some decomposition already. But unless you put these in a case or in a protective uh, gear back then it was it's just gonna happen so we got Jamel Wilkes Lakers and just show you the how the back his last stat line is the 1980-81 sorry this is the 81 top set not 1980 but close enough and uh, Jamal Wilkes 22 points 22.6 uh, per, per game 20 points the year before I mean this guy was a contributor to the Lakers La La Lakers oh hey Mavericks 1980-81 Look at the haircut. Look at the mustache. Let's just go to the next card. We've got Spurs leaders. A lot of team leaders cards. Here we got um, Lakers team leaders. We've got Abdul Jabbar, rebounds and scoring. Very cool. Look at this. Tom Lagarde, Otis Birdsong. Nate Archibald, Junior Bridgman, Bucks, Bill Robinson, Dallas Mavericks, Keith Heron, Pistons, and what's going to be last? We got Bill Pauls on the Rockets, but what's next? George McGinnis, Pacers, that's a good looking card, nice piece of history. And we've got a super action card here. Hard to make out. What's going on? We're gonna Bob Lanier showing his Detroit stats. Pistons will show you the front again there. It's Bob Lanier. So that's that was cool. I didn't know you could find uh, 81 tops packs. Collectible Card Club. Share your passion for sports card collecting that you had when you were a child with the next generation. Okay. Or if you're into them now, that's cool. Cool. I don't judge. That's cool. Anybody who wants to open packs. This is a great way to do it. You get a nice mix. Um, I, I wanted modern vintage. I got modern vintage. Got exactly what I was wanted. I didn't even know they'd go that far back to get an 81 Tops pack. That was pretty cool. Try it out. We'll have the information in the description for you to, to click the link and, and give it a try yourself. Tell me about your the best pull you ever had from a pack of basketball cards. You know, what was a real slam dunk? You pulled it out. You're like, whoa, Jordan Rookie, 86 Fleer, whatever it was. Let me know. I want to hear.